Welcome back to Love for the Kitchen. We're going to start a new little series, and we're going to call it What's for Lunch? And the idea is to basically go through the refrigerator, see what we've got for leftovers and vegetables and whatnot, and we'll see what's for lunch. So today, we're going, we've got some bell peppers we can use. I wish we had some onion with that, but we didn't. We've got some carrot we can use and some celery. And we've got this leftover ground beef with cactus or nopalis. And we've got leftover steamed rice. So guess what that means? You got it. We're going to make some fried rice concoction so we're going to get the wok and start heating it we're going to get the vegetables cut up and then we'll see how this all comes out we will probably use our standard spices we've got salt and pepper and we'll see what else we decide if we're going to go more i don't know what flavor we're going to do today? What would you do? Would you want to go Asian? Would you want to go Mexican? Or would you want to put another influence in there? Let's check it out. I really like this holder. It just makes it so easy to slice things uniformly. And it guides your knife if you actually run it against the fork on the left, or if you're right, uh, left handed on the right, they will come out the same thickness. Really important to have a sharp knife.
go ahead and add some salt. Look at that. Let me see. Yeah, that's about half a teaspoon. And about half. That's half a teaspoon. Usually equal parts on the salt and pepper. So if you're doing a teaspoon, do a teaspoon of both. One time I made up a shaker and I just mixed 50% salt, 50% pepper. But in the shaker, they tend to separate. So that's why I stopped doing it. Now, we're also going to include some onion powder because we don't have any. Have to get some more OP and GP getting kind of low. There you go. Put about a quarter teaspoon of each of those in there. Now, let's see what else we want to put in there. Let's put a dash of curry. Just a dash. And this stuff is really good. Uh, no salt. And we're just going to put a little bit of this in here. Probably about half a teaspoon. Nice. And we'll stir all that up. We're getting nice and hot. Now we want to get this meat heated up. Remember, when we do it, we put the rice last. It doesn't take long to heat up the rice. We're going to add the hamburger meat with the uh, cactus in it, the nopalis. Buy it in a jar at your local store. Got some liquid in it. We need to cook down those orange pieces that you saw in the uh, hamburger dish. It was actually the solidified fat from the meat. So that'll add to the flavor. Now we want to reduce this down. One quick way to do it without burning everything. Just... Pull the meat and the vegetables up to the side and uh, let it reduce. Now we're going to put the vegetables back in the refrigerator. I think today we're going to go with some of our pickled garlic. Now this, remember, this garlic is not what originally came in the jar. Once I used the garlic that was in the jar, I added more uh, fresh peeled garlic to it. And it's been in there a couple of weeks. Uh, it's actually absorbed the flavor of the pickling, so that was good. We're going to use some low-sodium soy sauce. Uh, but let's put the garlic in now so it will heat up. I'm thinking, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna do crushed garlic. Okay, I'm going to do a crushed garlic, and to do that, now I have that little device, 
but it takes some effort to clean. So we're going to do that. Oh, I'm going to taste one of these things. Mm. Those are so good. Now we've got this little hammer, the meat tenderizer. Use the flat side of it. Take a paper towel. Lay it over the garlic. Flatten out that garlic. Nice. Peel it off. Move that off of there. So, once we get that off, we're going to give it a little bit of a chop. Now, if I did this with a bigger knife, I could chop it better, but if I'm being honest, I don't want to dirty another knife. Okay. Now we're going to add that in here. You always want to, usually, unless you're making a soup or something, you want to add the garlic towards the end because it doesn't take much to burn garlic. There, wonderful flavors. Now we've got that, all those flavors in there. That moisture and that hammer has all been reduced, incorporated into the vegetables. Look at that, doesn't that look delicious? Okay, we are ready to add some rice. Now, how much rice do we have? We are going to add I don't have a scooper. But that's about half a cup. Another half a cup, so there's one cup. About two cups of rice. That's about right. Two cups of rice. And then and add the soy sauce. Just because soy sauce and rice go so good together. Now remember, we always talk in our videos about layering flavors. Layering flavors. So we layered in starting with the vegetables and then the meat and then the garlic. Now with the soy sauce, layer, 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 and what that's going to do is combine all of these into one harmonious, delicious flavor, and you'll be like, oh, there's a hint of garlic, and there's a hint of soy. They'll come through on the palate. In layers. Revealing themselves at just the right time. Want to hear a limerick? Let's do a limerick. In the kitchen, the blender whirs, mixing ingredients, flavors it stirs, with a whirl and blend, and tastes that transcend a smoothie creation that truly occurs. Well, didn't make a smoothie today, but... It's a cute limerick anyway. I've got a million of them. Hot, 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 hot. Okay. Some people will get my humor. Some people won't. That's fine. How do you like that? So the question at the beginning of the video. What's for lunch? The answer at the end. 
fried rice. Now remember, fried rice is basically a dish made of leftovers. So, a little meat in here, no egg, there doesn't have to be egg. That's Chinese restaurant talk. Oops, got a little spillage. Out of the way. Out of the way. A little cleanup control. Sorry, I had to see this. Okay. Reality, folks. Kitchen gets dirty. Oops, save that for later. Okay, here we are. Love from the kitchen. It's what's for lunch. Fried rice with uh, bell peppers and chili Colorado with nopales. Yum. Thank you for watching the video. Please give us a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Use the notification bell so you'll, at least if you subscribe, the videos will show up in your feed. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having us, having you with us. And from our kitchen to yours, have a good day.